If you want to see how I achieve this red look, keep watching. So first, of course, I had to bleach the hair. It was black when I originally got it. Um, I wanted to try the water bleaching dyeing method or whatever it's called because i didn't want to go through each strand and bleach it so i took about six cups of the bleach and um yeah after the six cups of bleach i followed with my 30 developer uh with the consistency i wanted it to be um like pancake mix a little bit but a little more milky because i'm like doing the water bleaching method never done it before so this was actually my first time and um i just didn't like the cakey consistency so i just kept adding developer and stirring it but i didn't want it to be too 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 milky so i just had to like add a little bit at a time and just keep stirring keep stirring keep stirring but it actually came out very well like right now you see it's a little pasty and yeah no telling if i could really dye hair with that pasty mixture so i made sure that i followed up with water and that actually helped so yeah i added the hot water just so i can have a little bit of consistency to really dip the hair i didn't want to add too much because i didn't know how it was going to react and if it was going to really dye the hair the way i needed it to so i just basically did it how i did the developer with the bleach and yeah Y'all can't tell me that this doesn't look like some pancake cake mix. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I just kept adding water and stirring, adding water and stirring. I didn't want it too milky, so yeah. This was the self-explanatory part. Um, I got the hair from Mama Mia's wig, so yes, definitely get at her. But um, yeah, this part... I honestly just went through and just saturated all the hair and I wanted to make sure that I got through all the little cracks and crevices because I hate, hate, hate missing pieces. Like missing pieces while you're bleaching is very important because if you miss the pieces, the rest of your hair gonna look crazy. So like the bleaching process is really a serious thing. But yeah, I just went through, as you can see, I'm separating. I'm like separating the hair and trying to make sure that I'm getting into the hair. So I just got lazy and just went and got a comb. So I can just comb it down because I don't want any like streaks, little marks. Well, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like when girls be dying their hair and it'll be having like, like this indention in it. Like I didn't want none of that. I wanted everything just to be saturated. So yeah, I just did that for a few minutes. Just to make sure you can see right now that it's already coloring which is good that was a good sign for me because yeah i would have cried if it didn't work So after um, I was done playing with the hair <laughs> and making sure it was fully saturated, I grabbed myself some aluminum foil and put it over the container so it can just bake a little more. And I just let that sit for about like 30 minutes. I was washing dishes and cleaning when I did it. So I just allowed um, the hair just to sit in between the dishes. That's why you see me reapplying the gloves. But yeah, um, I came and checked on it. Look at it. <laughs> All that brown grassiness goodness <laughs> but yeah so I'm just basically flipping it and just making sure the other side gets enough um love and tenderness that the other side got because i don't want to over process one side and then the other side is a little lighter then i went and put the aluminum foil back on and then i came back i was really going back and forth from cleaning and all the other stuff but yeah um came back about like 15 minutes later and then i did 15 for the first side 15 for the other side and then that was it so i rinsed it out and this is before i did the purple shampoo because i don't like brassy hair so, uh, purple shampoo 
And then this is after the purple shampoo. It really, you can't really tell the difference, but you're going to when I put the red on. So now I'll put the hot water in because we're about to start the color. Um, I had to add like two cups. <laughs> I used intense red. I just put the whole thing in there. I usually be buying like three different bottles, but I realized one is more than enough. So to start, and this part is honestly self-explanatory. So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys just keep watching. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I promise you guys, I'm gonna get better with these um, voiceovers. I know I suck at them. Like all you hear is um, the uh, yeah. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but yeah, um, just keep watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this simple process. Um, doing the water bleaching was definitely beneficial and it was so much easier to do that. So I will definitely be using that method over any method, but yeah, thank you guys again. And this is how my hair turned out. Thank you guys again for watching. Stay tuned for what I have coming up. Mm -hmm.